Welcome to Balances.com. Today we'd like to do a comparison. We get a lot of phone calls. People keep on calling us. What's the best value? What's the best balance for my money? These are two very popular scales. We have the A&D FX series and this is the new Sartorius um, AZ series. This is the part of the Empower group from Sartorius. Um, the M-Power replaces the Aculab line, the Aculab ALC line. Sartorius at once owned Aculab, and due to restructuring, they, uh, they uh, dismantled uh, the Aculab uh, line, so it's no longer in production. So if you own an Aculab um, ALC, this is the closest replacement, which would be the AZ series. So again, we get a lot of phone calls, you know, please tell me the difference between the two balances. What's the best balance? They're both excellent balances, we want to tell you. We're a Sartorius dealer, we're an A&D dealer. We like both brands. There are some features that are different, and hopefully this video will highlight them. So the first thing you'll notice is on the Sartorius balance, we have an LCD display. There's no backlight on this series. It's just a straight LCD display. And on the A and D, we have a vacuum fluorescent display. So we have the blue. Um, so to each his own. Some people like uh, LCDs, others like VFDs. So that's up to you. Uh, the two balances, uh, these are both milligram balances. They both weigh up to 300 grams to uh, one milligram. You'll notice on the Sartorius, we have a stainless steel cover. And there's a hole on the top of the cover, so one could put a burette in there and drop a liquid down. On the A and D, we have a plastic draft shield, and we also have a hole in that cover. Um, if you're looking at the uh, draft shield, the draft shield here from A and D, this is all plastic that's all assembled. Um, you could actually take out one of these if you wanted to. Um, some people might even operate the balance without the draft shield. On the Sartorius, this is a nice heavy glass draft shield. And again, both balances should be operated with the draft shield, but sometimes people operate it without. Um, one big difference between the Sartorius and the A&D, you'll notice right away, is the pan size. So the Sartorius is much larger. It's a 5.1 inch diameter pan versus the... Um, AZ, I don't actually have the exact dimensions, but it is, it is smaller. Here, to give you an example, I'll take off the pan, and you can see how much smaller it is. So, if you're looking for a larger pan, you definitely want to go with the A and D line. Um, another feature that you have with A and D over the Sartorius is, uh, if you're going to be weighing in multiple weigh modes, it's a lot easier um, using the A and D brand versus the Sartorius. With Sartorius, you can only toggle between two weigh modes. So it's not a major issue. Most people stay in grams only, but some people might be using this balance and they want to weigh in multiple weigh units. So with the A and D, you just simply press the mode button and each time you have piece count, you have percent mode, and then we go through all the weigh modes. We have ounces, we have pounds, we have troy ounces, we have carrots, mummies, penny weight, teal, and then we're back to grams. On the Sartorius, to change the weigh modes, you can only toggle between two weigh modes. So you pretty much have the same weigh units, but you can only toggle between two. So on this balance, we set it up. You'll notice it says grams there. And if you want to change the weigh unit, you have to press the F key, and now you have it in ounces. Now if you wanted to change the weigh unit to something else, you notice we have grams here and then we have ounces. If you wanted to change the weigh mode, just to give you an example of how it is to change a weigh unit, you have to shut off the balance, turn on the balance, then press the tear button as it's powering up. It will say that we want to change it so that the balance powers up uh, for primary mode, right now it's in grams, and we'll change this. Now you have to go through your manual to figure out all these codes, but we're pros with the Sartorius line, so we know these inside out and backwards. 
but we'll just say right now 172 is in gram that's grams if we wanted to change this to we'll say carrots we would press the tear button to increment so now we're at 174 and then we have to store it you have to hold down the print button and you'll notice there's a little zero there meaning it's been stored and now you have to reset the balance by pressing and holding the tear key down the balance powers up and now the primary mode is carrots and again if you wanted to change uh, toggle our second unit is ounces so you can see it's a little bit cumbersome to change the weigh units versus on an A&D it's simply press the mode button and here we go through all of the functions so some people it, it all depends I would say if you're going to be using different weigh units all the time if you know the Sartorius like we know it changing the weigh units is not a problem if you don't know the Sartorius line you'd have to go through Sartorius's manual which is here and read through it, make sure you have it in the right mode for toggle, which is first you have to have it in uh, mode 212, and then you would change the weigh units, and here in the table are all the codes. So it's a little bit more difficult, but we just wanted to highlight that. Um, another nice feature, both balances come standard with an RS-232 interface. I'll show that to you in one minute, but... I wanted to just show you the performance. Both balances perform excellent. So I have weigh dishes that I'm putting on the balance. And one simply, um, well, this is in ounces, so let's be fair. Let's just change this one to ounces. So I'm going to change the weigh mode to ounces. So we're both in ounces. And we'll tear out the balance. And we'll tear out the balance just to give you an idea. And you'll notice on these balances that uh, basically... If I throw on some salt, right away, boom, the response time, it's quick. And notice how they both stop, like, instantly. I mean, here, I'll throw a little bit more salt on. And I'll throw some more salt on. Um, I use this salt shaker in a lot of videos because there's a lot of strain gauge balances out there. And they just drift all over the place. Um, in a lot of ways, my opinion, they're more of a, a novelty scale. Um, they really can't weigh that well. Um, if you want quality performance, you have to go with a force restoration balance. And a force restoration balance is going to cost you a lot more money. Um, for example, here, this is the FX300i. And this is actually the legal for trade version. But you can buy the FX300i. And the list price is $9.95. And on the Sartorius, this is the AZ303. The list price is $12.85. Now, we sell both balances at substantially less money. But I uh, just want to try to give you an example difference in price range. Um, the Sartorius will cost you more money than the A&D. But performance-wise, as you can see, when I throw salt on each of these balances, uh, hits it up right away and they stop. Uh, both high, high quality balances. So... That's the performance in regards to a, uh, a milligram balance, add in small quantities of salt. What I wanted to show you next on this balance is um, the rear of the balance and a couple of little features here. So I'm going to shut off both balances by doing it the right way by pressing the off button, pressing the off button. Then I'll unhook both AC adapters. Now both balances only run off of uh, AC adapter. They do not run off of batteries. So one of the features that I wanted to show you on the A and D balance is on the A and D we have two adjustable feet and underneath here we have an underhook. This is for specific gravity if you wanted to hang an object underneath. Now on the A and D, I'm sorry, on the Sartorius model, Sartorius if you look on the bottom of this scale we have two adjustable feet also, but there's no underhook. So if you want to do any kind of specific gravity, you cannot do it from below the balance. So if that's an issue, if you're weighing like magnetic material or large objects, you definitely would want to go with the A&D because it has the underhook. But if that's not a feature you need, then the Sartorius is a great choice also. Um, another feature that I wanted to show you uh, is the Sartorius doesn't come with a 
uh, dust cover versus the A&D it comes standard so they give you one free this is an, a lot of people ask for these um, you know they get their balance dirty they want to have a they call this a spill cover so with A&D you get one free with Sartorius it's an optional accessory so there's one other feature now on the Sartorius we have this, this little hole here is for like a master lock to lock down your balance and it has an RS-232 interface. So you have a 25 pin RS-232 interface. With the A&D, you have the RS-232 which is a 9 pin and it comes standard. And on this particular balance, we have the optional USB interface. Now, most people that have a PC, everybody buys a PC they all come with a USB. Uh, you really don't have much for an RS-232. But the beauty about the A&D, if you buy, again, this is an option. If you buy this option, that's the FXI-02, you get a USB interface. It comes with a cable, and it is a true USB. It is not emulated. If you wanted to use the Sartorius balance, we sell a modification, which is basically... Sartorius is RS-232 cable, so this is a proprietary cable, it's not a standard RS-232 cable. So you would plug in the RS-232 cable to the rear of the balance, and then what you have to do is daisy chain it. So you would plug in the balance, the cable to the rear of the balance, and now we have to daisy chain it with this RS-232 to USB connector. Now the big issue is this setup is not a, a true USB. So you have to load a driver. And for some companies, they can't load anything on their PC. Everything has to be validated. So I used to work for a defense contractor and for sure we would never be able to load any driver on a PC without it being validated. The validation would cost thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's another issue that you might want to consider. Uh, again, if you're for general use, this is a great setup. But if you're for a big company and everything has to be validated, I would tell you you definitely want to go with a USB, a true USB. So that's one difference for a selling point. But again, I want to stress, on this balance, the USB interface is an option. It does not come standard. I would highly recommend that you do purchase it because there's going to be a day when you want to connect your balance to a PC. Um, one more final issue about uh, the two balances that you might want to consider before making your decision is with A and D, they have the FXI series. The FXI series comes in a legal for trade version. So this is the FXI3, this is the FX300IN. And you'll notice right here on this unit, it is legal for trade. It is a legal for trade class two balance. So with A and D, they have the FX300, which has a list price of, 19, of $995. Then this is the FX300IN, and the, price, the list price is $1,040. And then A and D has a version that you can buy that is a... Um, water resistant balance so you can splash water all over and it won't damage it and on that balance the list price is $14.65 these are all 2011 prices so who knows maybe in another year or two you'll be seeing this video and the prices have went up but those are the list prices in 2011 <clears throat> we sell them all for substantially less money at balances.com um, but with the Sartorius, Sartorius presently does not have a legal for trade version. They do not have a wash down version. So that's another issue that you might want to consider. But both balances are great balances. Performance is spectacular. Uh, presently, the Sartorius is assembled in America. We don't know for how much longer, but right now it's assembled in America. The parts come from Germany. And on the A&D... On this balance here, it's engineered in Japan and assembled in Korea at this time. Again, place of origin might change on both units, but they're both 
high quality precision balances and we would recommend them. Um, one final thing, uh, on the FX series, uh, this is the milligram balance. These all have a 5.1 inch diameter platform and when you go to the FX 1200 to the 3000, which are all 0.01 gram balances, the platform size changes to 5.9 inches, so it's a little bit larger. On the Sartorius, on this balance, I just remember, this is a 3.9 inch diameter platform for the milligram balances. And then if you went with the, the AZ212 and 612, which are 0.01 gram balances, the diameter of the platform is 4.6. So again, A and D has a larger platform. And then on the AZ series, when you go to the 1502 all the way up to the 6101, the platform changes to a rectangular platform, which is 6.8 inches by 5.6. I know I covered a lot of material here. If you have any questions, give us a call. We are true experts. We've been at this uh, balance and scales on the internet since 1995, so we are leaders. Uh, we do know the balance is inside out and backwards. Give us a call. We'll answer any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching this video. And again, visit balances.com for the best prices on A&D and Satoris.